Hello. Welcome to Baby Dolls Dreamland. Today, I want to jumpstart a new series on this channel called the Y2K Era. Our first topic for this series focuses on one of the biggest brands of that time, Juicy Couture. But our focus for today will be specifically on the Juicy Couture charm bracelet. Now, for whatever reason, it was hard for me to find what year Juicy Couture came out with their charm bracelets. But according to charmchatter.com, in 2003, the company was purchased by Liz Claiborne, and as they stated, the rest was history. Now, in 2013, Juicy Couture was officially sold to Authentic Brands Group for $195 million, and I think they stopped making their charms two years before that, in 2011, because I can't find any charms online that date after that year. Juicy Couture jewelry is often referred to as costume jewelry because their gold isn't real gold and their silver isn't real silver, but kind of like the gaudy Y2K chunky vibe of it. And the coolest things about the charm bracelets is that they made so many charms that I literally can't find a count of them online. A charm for literally everything. They have a pretzel with rhinestones in it. They have a computer if you're a nerd. They have art supplies. They have robots, dinosaurs. So you can literally collect them all, but you would be collecting them forever, even though they stopped making them in 2011. You can actually tell a visual story about your entire life through your charm bracelet, from birth until death. But I guess at that point, you'd have to have someone get the charms for you. That aside, they made so many charms that every person is catered to and i think that's actually really cool now that we've reached the end of the video you may be thinking i want a juicy couture charm bracelet and luckily for you even though they stopped making them in 2011 you can go get one thrift websites like depop ebay and poshmark have them ranging from prices between ten dollars and sixty dollars there's also loads of charms to choose from one person's trashy Y2K regret is another person's trashy Y2K treasure. Now go out there and live your early 2000s fantasy. See you next time.